what's up you guys welcome back to the diy channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this pouch square pouch or toiletry bag and it's padded or quilted so let's get straight into the video so to start off i have this block of fabric it's 16.5 by 16.5 inches and i also have this baiting or padding then the first thing that I do is to take my printed fabric and then I pin my baiting onto that printed fabric. So I wanted to do sort of like a quilting technique. If you don't have uh, this baiting, you can also use like a thin sponge. Then I started to mark 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 inch intervals. And then I just draw lines just like that. And then when I was done, I went on to the other side and then I also drew the other lines. Then I now went on to sew. Then I went to the sewing machine and then I just started stitching along those lines. When I was done, I now took my zipper and then I started to sew the zip. I first sewed it onto that first side. And then I attach it again onto the other side. Somehow I woke up out in Beverly, fucked up, smelling like that bourbon, and I end up alone. I'm not certain. Yeah, the and mind you, when I stitch the zipper, I use the zipper foot. That's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect. So after I was done, I now took my fabric my padded fabric and then i flipped it in half just like that and made sure that the zip was aligned in the center and then i started to measure 2.5 inches in and two inches so the side that i put the two inches is the side with the ends of the zip and then on the folded a from the folded edge i only measure two inches going in. After I done marking, I now started to cut away with my scissors and I cut out all four corners. And then I now went on to the edges, those edges, and then I would measure about 0 0.5 inches, half an inch, and then just draw a straight line. I also do the same thing for the other side. Then I went on to stitch those two sides. Then 
After stitching now, I just cut away the zipper and then I removed my pins. So now I now took this little square piece of fabric. This is for the handle and I made it 10 by 5 inches. And then I just ironed on some interfacing. I also folded in the edges and then folded it in half as well. Then I went on to stitch it on the sewing machine. So I stitched it on two sides. This is my handle. And then now I now started to take um, those four corners that I cut off. And then I would sort of like flip them and turn them into sort of like seams. And at the same time, I also inserted uh, the little bend for the handle. So when I'm done, this is the shape that I have and I just put pins as I went along. Then I started to sew straight down those seams. So that is what it looks like now. It looks sort of like a box. Then before I turned it inside out, I had to make the lining for the inside and I just cut basically the same uh, fabric size, 16.5 by 16.5 inches. Then the only difference is that on the edges where you would insert the zip, I just folded and ironed. Then I now went ahead and I stitched it and cut it the same way that I did the outer layer of the pouch.
Then when I was done with the lining now, I inserted my pouch into the lining and make sure I aligned everything at the zip and I just put those little pegs. And this is where I would go and do a hemming stitch. So invisible stitch, I normally just do this with by hand. And then when I'm done, I now turn everything inside out. And there is my lovely pouch. I really like to make this pouch, especially like whenever I make a big bag, I always try to make a small pouch to go with it. I think it looks really cute. This is my previous video where I made that big weekend bag I'm also going to leave it for you guys to check it out thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again in my next one bye